up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notification, and go follow me on Twitter, AKO Boxing 86 TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, Knockout Boxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Also, don't forget about our live shows. Live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Also live every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And then you can also catch me live every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. But without further ado, man, let's get into it and let's get it popping. in today, Josh Taylor said he'll give Jack Catterall a rematch, but not for no belts. Only at 147 pounds. Let's talk about it, bro. So check this out, man. Josh Taylor says this, all right? I've had a chance to watch the fight back. First and foremost, I want to congratulate Jack Catterall on a great fight. He rose to the occasion and fought a valiant fight. However, I believe I won a very close fight. Many fans believe Jack deserved the decision, and that's fine. We both went in there and fought our guts out for 12 rounds, but the personal attacks on myself and especially my family are disgusting and uncalled for. My days at 140 are numbered. My future is at welterweight. Jack Catterall deserves another title shot and as soon as possible. I've never ducked the challenge in my career, and I'd be happy to fight Jack again, but it would have to be at welterweight. All right. So some people will be like, man, Josh Taylor, a warrior, he a dog, he a savage, bro. He said he'll fight Jack Catterall again. And he moving up to 147 anyway, so that makes sense. He been talking about moving up to 147 knockout. Knockout, don't be hard on Josh Taylor. When he was talking about what he would do to Tank Davis, why, he, why, why was he doing that shit if he knew he was moving up to 147? When he was talking all that shit about what he would do to Tank Davis... And, and fighting Tank Davis, if you knew you was moving up to 147, why you talking about that if you knew you wasn't going to be in the weight class no more, man? If you knew your ass was leaving 140, why you talking about Tank Davis, bro? Were you clout chasing? Are you another one of these clout chasing ass dudes, Josh? Is that what you're doing? And he telling on himself. He know he lost a fight. That's why he don't trust himself to fight Jack Catterall again at 140, bro. If he had dominated Jack Catterall and beat the shit out of Jack Catterall, I wonder would he still had his same sentiment. Now, I do agree with him. Attacking his family and shit, that shit, like, nah, bro. But telling him he lost, like, man, you lost. You got your ass whooped. Straight up and down. I just find it very odd. I find it very ironic that you say that man deserve a title shot as soon as possible. But you don't want to give him a title shot. You're going to be fighting at 147. So here's the thing, man. I need the WBO, the IBF, the WBC, the WBA. Somebody force this dude to make a decision, bro. He don't need to hold up the division for another six or seven months. He need to let y'all know what his plans are immediately, man. Immediately, like within the next month. Give him a month, all right? Give him till the end of March. To let the world know, let the commissions know, let the sanctioning bodies know, right? Let the fans know, either you're going to stay at 140 and you campaign in there for another fight, or you're moving to 147, bro. We don't need you holding up shit, okay? Because you got people nipping at your heels now. At the end of the day, at the time, you beat all the top people when they was the top people. So, Jose Ramirez fight, I ain't really interested in that. You beat him cleanly. Victor Postal just got stopped by Gary Antoine Russell. So, if Josh Taylor is going to fight at 140, Jack Catterall deserve a rematch. That would be my first choice because I feel like he won the fight. Get that man his rematch. Or you give Regis his rematch. That was a very close fight. Or you need to get you some Gary Antoine Russell, some, some Montana Love Smoke. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. It's only four, four fights. If you can't do any of those fights, bro, we don't want to see no voluntary-ass, bullshit-ass fight. We don't want to see you, you take on a, a soft touch. Get your ass up there to 147 then since you so weight-drained now. Since you so weight-drained, he ain't talk like this 
after he beat Jose Ramirez. He didn't talk like this after he beat Postal. He didn't talk like this after he beat Prograde. He was the man down there. Now you done went in there, Jack Catterall done put hands, feet, fingers, and toes on your ass. Now you want to move up to 147. Now you can't never make 140 again. Cool, bro. Drop your belts. But what, what we're not going to do is just sit around and let Josh Taylor hold on, not make a decision for four, five, six, seven, eight months, holding up everybody in the division. You ain't, you ain't all that matters in the, in the sport of boxing, homie. You ain't all that matters at 140 pounds. Either get that man his rematch or vacate and move up. That's how I see it. That's it. That's all, bro. And if you, if you top rank, right? I know you want to control those belts. I know you want to control those belts, but you're going to have to make a decision with, with Josh Taylor, man. You're going to have to make a decision, and we all want to know what it is. Because it's a lot of young killers coming up at 140. It's a lot of young killers coming up at 140 that want his ass. And if he move up to 147, what y'all doing, bro? What y'all doing? I, like you said, you want you been saying you want to fight Terrence Crawford this whole time. You want to move up. That's the fight you want. That's what you said that shit before the fight too. You was cloud chasing, calling everybody name out, Josh. So if you ain't rematching, if since if you so different, you supposed to be a dog, right? I always said you a dog. Don't make me look stupid, Josh. I'm starting to have questions, Josh. I'm starting to I'm starting to wonder what's up. Don't do that to me, man. I vouch for you. But damn it, if you don't fight Jack Catterall and you move up to 147, there is a direct road for you to become Terrence Crawford's mandatory. It is. They named you super champion of the WBO. Yeah, they sure did. So you can go up there and you can challenge for a belt immediately. Don't If you take a tune-up, you ducking. If y'all get that man a tune-up, he ducking. Straight up and down. I don't want to hear shit else. If you get that man, if, if that man go up there and he take on anybody just as a warm-up fight, y'all admit that y'all think he ain't going to be shit at 147 because he's supposed to go get that smoke right now, right? Ain't that what Terrence Crawford did for all the shit we talk about Terrence Crawford? Didn't Terrence Crawford move up from undisputed at 140 and then fight Jeff Horn? Who was Terrence Crawford first fight at 147? Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Maybe your boy Knockout don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he don't know what he's talking about, bro. Let's see. Terrence Crawford. Julius Ndongo at 140 pounds. Next fight, Jeff Horn, WBO, what's weight title, 147 pounds. Why can't Josh Taylor do it? Why can't Josh Taylor move up and challenge for a title immediately? He the man, right? And see, a lot of y'all, oh, knockout, man. Why you got Josh Taylor number 15 on your pound for pound list? He should be top seven, top five, easy. Josh Taylor, undisputed champion, man. He's one of the best fighters in boxing, man. You don't know what you're talking about, knockout top 15. Top 15, that's way too high for him. He's not, he's way better than that. You got Gary Antoine Russell ranked better than, than, than Josh Taylor. What has he done? What is What has Gary Antoine Russell done to be put ahead of Josh Taylor? Well, he beat the shit out of Victor Postal way worse than Josh Taylor did. Sure did. He looked way better against Victor Postal than Josh Taylor did. And just, 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 if we, if we picking a fight, if we talking about a fight, who you got between Jack Catterall and Gary Antoine Russell? Did y'all see them straight lefts Gary Antoine Russell was landing what you think he do to Josh Taylor? He land them hoes on him. All them straight lefts Josh Taylor was talking. Y'all told me I was crazy when I said, man, Tank Davis probably beat the shit out of Josh Taylor. Oh, I'm knockout, bro. Come on, bro. I know you like Tank Davis, bro, but Josh Taylor is a pound-for-pound pound fighter, bro. Really? Really? Because, I, I mean, Reed just lumped his face up. Jose Ramirez landed some clean shots on him. Josh Taylor ain't got no defense, bro. I hate to tell y'all that good hand speed. He a dog. He, he get dirty on the inside with you. He can fight on the inside, but he got no defense. And I keep telling y'all, them shark-infested waters at 147 going to do his ass bad. That's why he trying to tell Jack Catterall, I'll rematch you at 147. Because he probably want that shit to be his first fight at 147. Man, he don't really want to smoke with Terrence Crawford like that. 
I just find it funny that you feel like he deserve a shot, just not against you no more. You don't want to put them titles on the line against him, huh? You can't make 140 now. But you showed this, say you'll beat the shit out of Tank Davis at 140 before the fight. So did you know that you was moving up to 147 the whole time? Or are you only moving up to 147 to save face because you know you got your ass whooped? Like, what are we doing, Josh? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I just find it interesting that now all of a sudden, Josh Taylor, the king of 140, now all of a sudden, he... He ain't interested in, in reigning no more. Now, all of a sudden, he moving up to 147, but you was just calling out 135 pounders. So what you want, John, Tank Davis to come and fight you at 147 or something? What was you calling his name for if you really didn't want smoke like that? Maybe because he called you out first, said he knock your ass out? All right, well, y'all fight at 140. Or you need to fight Regis, but I want to see you fight Jack Catterall at 140, rematch for the undisputed title, that man beat your ass. He deserves a shot back. Don't you run your ass up to 147. The only way you do not give Jack Catterall a rematch at 140 pounds is if you move up to 147 and you exercise your mandatory clause in your WBO Super Championship uh, rules and shit for the WBO and you fight Terrence Crawford immediately. Anything else, you duck and smoke from Jack Catterall. Anything else, you duck and smoke from Terrence Crawford. I got my eyes on you, Josh Taylor. We gonna watch what you do. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.